here we are back on track this weekend at Harewood. Now at the sharp end of the season with only four events to go, two of which will be happening this weekend, just north of Leeds, the Harewood Hill Climb. This is the corral area at the bottom. Let's go and see what the track is doing this morning. Airwood characterised, of course, by uh, going downhill before it goes uphill. After a short straight, we're into this right-hander here. And then downhill. Very deceptive, this I found last year. Always ended up braking too early, because you think you're going faster than you actually are. So you start braking and you realise you've actually still got some tarmac to get to the corner. So getting a braking point is something I want to try and work on this time around. Weather forecast today, dry, possibility of rain, fairly cool. So uh, all being well, as long as we don't get some showers, we should be on for some reasonable times today. Let's see what happens. So at the bottom of the hill, you're into a right, left, right, right complex. Really great fun this is. Puts the balance of the car on one side, then the other, then back over to the other. Really tests the suspension of the car. I know the midget's better this year, so I'm hoping to kind of gain a little bit of time through here. So we'll go out wide, cut it in, try and keep right over here. Try and keep out to the right, then cut it in again. Getting over to the left, ready for the last corner. Rumble strips on this one, not too vicious. Midget would be able to ride those, but that's not the problem. I think those are going to be the problem. So, but they're fairly easy to avoid and see, so I should be okay. So hopefully I'll be over on the left, over here. A bit down there. swing it around fairly tight corner this one but it opens up but then immediately goes into a left so if you're not too careful you miss the next one so try and stay wide to keep the speed on the accelerator about now to drive through this corner so there's the observant amongst you You'll note this is my first hill climb this year. Uh, for some reason, the calendar has fallen that it's been mostly sprints. Uh, so this will be my first and second hill climb and last of the year. Uh, requirement of the championship, of course, is that you have a mix of sprints and hill climbs. So that should tick those boxes for me. Now, a short, sharp climb. And this caught me out last year because I thought the left turn at the top of it was quite wide open. It's a 90 left. I'll try and use that post as my marker. This is what happens if you get it wrong. <laughs> I bet a fair few have done that. But this 90 left then opens up into a small straight. So carrying speed through there is going to be quite important to getting a good time. Fairly fast corner this one. I'm not sure if it's going to be a second or third gear corner yet. We'll see. There's certainly no room for error look. The tarmac's good. Don't think those strips will help, so we need to stay away from those. But the speed's important because you've got this straight drag here up to the right turn. So sweeping left, shouldn't need to brake too much for that. And then brake, brake, brake for this 90 right. Out as wide as I dare. Clipping those as close as I dare. 
carry some speed into this next bit. And this next bit, I think is my favorite visual of the entire circuit. You're traveling down here, flat out in second gear, heading straight for this gap between the farmhouses. I don't know what it is. I think it must be taking me back to the eighties and nineties playing computer games where you're whizzing through built up cities. Just that close quarter, narrow gap action. I don't think it gets much better than that. That's the buildings. You hit this at high revs in the third gear. Really great sweeping corner. You gotta be brave, you gotta find the limits of your tires and just balance it right on the edge of grip to get round here. Always good for showboating, of course, because all the crowd will be lined up on that fence waiting for someone to go in the gravel trap. The vultures that humankind goes, but there won't be any of that today because we'll be holding it round here onto this final part of the climb. So in the midget, this is flat out in second, into third. Just let the revs go all the way to the finish line. Well, maybe not quite all the way to the end, because there's a small matter of this right hand turn at the top. Quite deceptive, but the timing gate is on the other side of this corner. So the challenge is to get around this as fast as possible without taking out the cones, without taking out the timing gate, and actually going across the line forwards and not backwards. So there we have the finish and the run out period. And there we are, back to the front. So we signed in, we scrutineered, all that remains then is to get changed and get to practice.
guest championship classic. This is class 58, the MG Car Club. Championship contenders are heading into our house, first run of Martin Lund from Litchfield with his MG Midgets. First visit to the two pair with Sir Peter, who's going to establish a BB. Two time lapse in, we're at 74.29, uh, which is a personal best for this car at Harewood, which is great. So the rear suspension upgrades, I hope, have made a, a difference for that. One more time run today. The weather's held out, so we've got a dry track. Let's see if we can improve on that. And then uh, we'll hang it up, come back tomorrow and do it all again. So there we are, the end of the third timed lap, and uh, just managed to get below the 74 seconds. That's about 0.2 of a second improvement on every lap, so really pleased with how the day's gone, and uh, hopefully take even more time out of that as we go into the next day. So, a great day at Harewood, some good times with the car, pleased with how it's been performing. A great course, as always. So we come back tomorrow for uh, day two, our sprint session up at Harewood. So see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. See you tomorrow.